the team, did you guys take it personally this, today? Um, I think the biggest thing we did was embrace how much this game means to a lot of people with the Iron Bowl, um, for the state of Alabama, for the guys that's from the from the state of Alabama, and also the guys that that are seniors. So it was important, you know, to get this win um, with so many things uh, that took place with our football team. So. I thought it was just a great opportunity for us to go out on the field and compete and finish one last time for the seniors and the, the guys that um, put so much into the program. Jalen, I saw you kind of taking the lap around Brian Denny. I mean, what was going through your mind during that? Time? Yeah. So, you know, this is our last, you know, home game on the schedule here at Brian Denny. You know, I wanted to appreciate the fans because those are the, guys, those are the people who we play for each and every Saturday that we have the opportunity to, to compete. And so, you know, just showing their appreciation to them because those are those are people that impact the game. Those are people that we play for. And so, you know, any opportunity I'm able to be thankful and show my appreciation, I'm gonna try to do so. Can you yeah. share what Tyler Booker said in post game with the team? Yeah, no, he poured his heart into the, you know, and, and expresses his heart to the whole football team. You know, this is a guy that each and every day he works tremendously hard to be the best version of himself, but also to uplift people. You know, there's two types of two types of leadership. Is a puller and a lifter, and he does both of those things equally at a very high high level. So I'm just proud of him for his leadership, and also just taking the field with him. With you know, he's a guy that's a captain of the football team and a guy that's been here um, for three years, and he's an upperclassman. So just to see his growth as a leader, greeter, leader, and just him just uh, constantly just growing. You know, I'm just proud of him, and just and I just enjoy just being his teammate. What was your message to the team after the game? I think it was just all about enjoying the win and enjoying the process that we've had. Yes, it has not been the easiest, but just each hardship, each obstacle um, that we've all been on this whole season, we've done it together. And that's something that's just um, revealing as we you know, embrace each and every game that we have, we're just doing everything together and um, just embracing the journey. And you know, it's beauty in the journey you know, as you go along the process. And so that was just the message for everyone and just enjoy this win. Do you, do you think like that you guys are a playoff team? I think we're a team that's going to enjoy this win. Um, it's not for us to decide, you know, what you know what our future looks like. But um, we are we're a team that won five of the last six games and shown just tremendous grit and commitment level from everybody on the whole football team. So um, we just got to keep on improving and just also just um, worrying about our controllables, you know, and not uncontrollables. So I think that's so important moving forward for our football team and just being able to just be where our feet are. Enjoy the win that we just had against a tough opponent here at home, and then um, just um, just worrying about our controllables. How much has this team achieved, like in terms of the ceiling? Do you think you guys have reached it, or do you have more in the tank to, to offer moving forward? More in the tank. I always think there's more in the tank for our football team. Um, I think you know that's that's the unique thing about any football team that there's, there's room for growth. You know, as we embark on the journey, there's always a play that you want back, or another opportunity that's, that's that we miss in the game, or. Um, something that we did really good. It's always all about, all about reflection. And that's something that we have on this football team was leaders that step up as leaders and also just reflecting on that we can be so much better. And so I don't think we just reached our surface of um, when we're a complete football team. Yet. What would you say to the college football playoff committee? Um, I would just say, you know, um, we're very thankful for the opportunity to play each and every Saturday. Um, we, all we want to do is put in display the hard work that we put during the week. Um, and just know that you know we have a resilient group as part of that locker room. Despite if we're in or out, I just proud of the guys that's in the locker room. They're proud of their fight, their commitment. Because it's easy to, to dwell and easy to, to give up, but we don't have that in that locker room. So um, this is me speaking to the football team, and I'm proud of y'all for the commitment, the resiliency, and just just constantly just growing at the football group. What does it mean when to go undefeated at home in Bryant Denny? It means a lot. You know, it's all about protecting your territory, and something that we do not take lightly, which is protecting our turf at home and playing for our fans, playing for our um, Tuscaloosa and the state of Alabama. Um, we don't take that lightly at all, and that's emphasized during the week. And we just try to show our appreciation as much as possible as we play at home. Jay, Jay, can, can you uh, assess um, how you did on the third mediums and third long? Cause you did a pretty nice job today. I think I could be better. You know, the, the ultimate goal is to um, reach our 12% rule as a football team in all areas and third down is so critical in a football game because that's the, that's the momentum booster that you need and it's a very intense down but it's, it's so important to um be above you know the 80 percent range but um i think you know for all of us you know on offense we just it's so much more and it's all about having that starving mindset 
And that was something I was emphasizing on the sideline when, when we left the, the field, went to the sideline, was all about having a starving mindset. There's always more in the tank, there's something more that we can do. And so, um, you know, it's all about going one and no. That's, that was definitely improvement that we had this week, which is third down and something that's emphasized during the week. How can we improve in the week before? And we reached our goal, which is to be better than we were last week. You know, Coach Sheridan emphasized that um, earlier in the season that each, way, each week that goes by, there should be something that you improve on from the previous week before that. And that was an opportunity for us to grow. Jalen, when, you, when you look at it, I mean, obviously, this is a big game for Jalen DeBoer, first Iron Bowl win, first kind of experience in that. What, looking back, what kind of impact has he made on you and kind of on this football program in his first year at Alabama? I'm going to say this. I love Coach DeBoer. I love his commitment, his resiliency, him as a leader, um, the shoes that he's filled with the position he's in, um, always working his tail off to be the best coach he can be for our football team. Um, I, respect, I respect him a lot um, for always trying to get the best out of me pushing me each and every day to be the best quarterback in the nation that I can be for this football team. Um, and just seeing his fight during the year, it's not easy being a head coach in the SEC, but he's just shown tremendous leadership and shown, you know, um, his pride in coaching and how much he cares about us. And I'm going I'm to be quite honest, man, he's one of the best coaches I've been around um, as far as loving the game, enjoying the game, enjoying the process. Yeah, we lost some games. Yeah, yeah we haven't played our best game, but, but the, the enjoyment, I really enjoy being a quarterback for Coach DeBoer, so I appreciate him um, for his leadership, um, his love, his and how much he pours in me each and every day. You feel like this game should've... means a lot to a lot of people in the state. What you did last year and then this one this year, what does that mean to you? Yeah, so coming to college, you know, I didn't know too much about how much this game means to a lot of people in the state of Alabama. And to now being a part of it for four years now, it's one of the greatest rivalries in the country. And I'm just very thankful to be able to take a snap today and be, and be a part of um, this historic game. Um, definitely, you know, it was excited to be a part of it. Very thankful. Um, but no, it, it means a lot to me to be a part of this game, you know, and be able to wear the Crimson jersey. And with so much people that been a part of this game historically, um, and just to share the field with my teammates who work their tails off each and every week. And so it, this game definitely means a lot to me. You, you feel like you should have put it away soon? What's that? You feel like you should have put the game away sooner than y'all did? Every game, every game, no matter who we play, we want to put the game away. You know, we talk about 60 minutes of football, but it's always about finishing the opponent. You know, that's one of our core values is the program is finishing. And so to answer your question, I think that's so important. I mean, we got to finish. Um, no matter who the opponent is, finishing the opponent, and um, acknowledging that, you know, whenever there's time left in the clock, there's still more left in the tank for us to be the best offense we can be, defense, special teams, no matter what it is. So um, I think that's so important for us to just continue to finish. Jalen, you had a three rushing touchdowns tonight, tying Cam Newton record with the most third now in the SEC. Just kind of, what does that mean for you? You got to go into a knowing you about to tie that record? I want to thank my offensive line. I want to thank the receiving core. I want to thank the running backs for all their commitment during the week. and. Their heart, you know, their their physicality and their commitment to the game plan on um, each play call. Um, it would, you know, without them, I wouldn't be able to get in the end zone. I wouldn't be able to make explosive plays. I want to show my appreciation to them. Um, but no, it's all about um, going one and zero each and every drive that we have, and having an optimistic mindset that something good is about to happen in the football game, and just trusting in the game plan. Um, and I think that's so important with the guys that we have on offense. And, you know, they're. They're just selfless, selfless, and I just show my appreciation for them each and every each and every opportunity I have when it comes to, you know, scoring and going on the sideline and just being thankful because those are the guys that, you know, it's misinterpreted. You know, it's always you know there's one guy that scores, but it's the ten other guys that do their job as well. So I'm just truly appreciative of, the, of our offense. Yeah, the last this year, going back to even when Coach Moore was hired, is there a moment that's going to stick out to you that you'll take with you? First game of the season, giving them the game ball. I think that was a moment that. I always remember um, it started the new era in a sense of our football season of the 2024 football season flipping the page from 2023 and getting a win against West Kentucky um, definitely was um, super excited for that moment just to give the ball to coach the board for his first win as the Alabama head coach so that was a memory I always remember. Jalen, you played in the college football playoff game last year like uh, last year against Michigan if Alabama is to chosen to play in the college football playoff. What would you take from that and apply to this year's team? 
Yeah, the goal is to go one and zero, no matter who the opponent is. Um, the best thing is all about experience. You know, experience is the best teacher. And with guys that have been a part of the, the CFP and the guys who have not, it's all about leaning on um, your repetition of constant growth um, during the season and also just reflection. And so I think, you know, for us as players that have been a part of it, it's all about experience. So I think we're excited for what's ahead and we'll be prepared for whenever the opportunity presents itself. Thank you, Jay.